Hi, my name is Vance Whitaker. I'm the strawberry breeder here at the University of Florida. And today, in this video, I'm gonna to introduce to you our new white strawberry release. It's been tested under the breeding selection number 1678109, and we recently applied for the trade name Florida Pearl. So in today's video, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this variety and some tips that I have for managing it here in Florida. This strawberry is commonly called a pine berry. And the reason for that is that the aroma of the berry often reminds people of a slight pineapple essence, and therefore it's called a pine berry. Uh, the origin of this strawberry really came from genetics in Japan. We got some seed from Japan a number of years ago and crossed that into our Florida strawberries to combine the white color from the Japanese strawberry into the hardiness and the climate adaptation of a regular Florida strawberry. This strawberry yields about three quarters of the amount of a typical red strawberry variety. When fully ripe, this berry has a white base color on the outside. The seeds turn a nice red attractive color and the side of the fruit that's exposed to the sun has a slight pink blush. The inside of the fruit, meanwhile, is pure white. Some blemishes that would not be obvious on a red strawberry become more apparent on the white background of this particular berry. For instance, this blemish is caused by a leaf rubbing over the surface of the fruit as it's ripening. One of the really important things about the white strawberry is recognizing the proper stage of harvesting. When you look at these four berries, the one on the left is considered underripe. It has a green hue that is particularly obvious on the shoulder of the berry. The next one to the right is now at a great stage of ripeness. It doesn't have a green hue, but the akines are red and the surface is white. The next berry to the right is a little bit more ripe and has more of the pink hue, but still is at a per perfect har a harvest stage. Finally, the fourth berry on the far right is starting to show some yellowing of the surface color. And that's an obvious sign that this berry is overripe. Even a very small amount of yellow color on the surface, once the berry goes into cold storage, will deepen and become more unattractive over time. So it's very important not to harvest and pack any strawberries that have any yellow surface color whatsoever. Now, because there's such a narrow stage of ripeness that's ideal for this berry, it's going to be necessary to harvest this berry more often than you would a red strawberry. So let me share some recommended growing practices for this berry in Florida. Well, the pine berry, because it has a smaller fruit size than our typical red varieties, it's important not to plant this variety too early, which is a practice that tends to reduce fruit size early in the season. So I recommend an ideal planting date right around October 15th. Second, uh, this berry, because the surface blemishes are more apparent on the white background, it can be helpful to plant this berry in an area that's less exposed to wind. And third, uh, because this berry is a, a robust plant and it is fairly, uh, has fairly good disease resistance, it should be easy to grow. However, it is somewhat susceptible to Phytophthora root and crown rots like our other varieties. And therefore, we do recommend Ritamil uh, shortly after planting for this variety. In summary, three important points to remember are, number one, target planting the Florida Pearl pine berry variety right around October 15th. Second, try to plant in an area, if possible, that's less exposed to wind or other environmental factors that may cause more blemishes on the fruit. And finally, and most importantly, remember that this variety has an ideal ripeness window that is very small. It is very easy to pick berries that are either underripe or overripe. Therefore, training pickers is gonna be very important as well as reducing the harvest interval. Finally, a big thanks to the University of Florida, to Florida Foundation Seed Producers, and to the Florida Strawberry Growers Association for helping us bring this variety to the market. 
And if you have any questions and would like to contact me, I'd be very happy to help you in the future. Just contact me at the email shown on the screen.